Okay, hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to do this mod for Resident Evil 7. And the same steps will work for pretty much every single game in the list. RE7 is just the one I'm going to do for like the showcase. So, first just open your Steam. And once you're, I already have it on Resident Evil 7, but just get to this part. Go to settings and go under manage to browse local files. Once you open that, just X out of Steam and you'll have your local files right here. And the local files are going to have all the stuff with like RE7, RE7 config, all of that. So you can see the resemblance. And this stuff up here is like the mod stuff so this you probably won't have like this and this in your game files yet because I already have the mod installed and these are part of the mod so anyways once you have this it won't have the mod installed yet duh go to the link in the description and it'll bring you to uh not there to this page right here this initial VR and scripting system release It'll take you straight here. You're just going to scroll down to RE7.zip and click on it. Once you click on that, you're going to open this up and click open. And you can slow all of this down if you want to. Now, you can exit out of that tab to where you just have this open and this open. So, what you're going to do is you're gonna select these two files here by just holding left click down and dragging it over these two files the dinput8.dll and openvr underscore appy.dll then you're gonna drag them over using left click you just hold left click and drag them to the right and then once you see a little plus it's gonna add them to your game files and then you'll just let go of left click and it will give you the mod and that's pretty much it then you can exit all of this stuff out and you can get into the game. So I'll show you how to like get all that running. Okay, so once you're about to play the game, like you're in this page, right? You want to plug your I'm using like Oculus Link with the Quest 2, right? So I just plugged like the link cable into the class 2 and then put the link cable on the other side into the computer thing or the PC and then I'll just I just like click enable oculus link and it'll take me to my oculus home if you have like a rift s or any of those it will you'll already like be in your oculus home you won't have to like enable anything so once you're in your like oculus PC VR home you just want to lift like the headset up and on your desktop just click play and then when you put the headset back on it will take like five seconds but it'll take you out of your home and start loading you into like uh, the game and it will just take you to this little loading icon and then you'll be in it and it will say like re engine nvidia game works all that this is VR I can look up down left right up down whatever I'm using an Xbox controller so I just have that on and this is all VR so you can see that I'm gonna uh, load the game I'm just gonna load. I'll just load this first, the first save I have. Then, yes. Boom. So, this is very early, so there's not gonna be like any spoilers. Okay, boom. So, once you're in, you know, you can just play the game, you know, have fun. 
It's fully VR, so I can look left, look right, look up, look down. You can look at your character's toes. And the first thing you're probably wanna gonna want to do, and you're gonna be like, oh, this doesn't run perfect, right? Because it sets it to like what your PC probably wants to play on, not what your Oculus headset like using VR wants to play on. So you just copy my graphics settings and then like you can bump it up, but I found this is fine. It looks really nice anyways. Um, these two things right here are going to be set to like what your monitor is, so don't mess with those. I have my display mode and windowed. It works, whatever. It wasn't like full screen didn't work. But I'm just in Windows and it works, so I don't want to switch it back. Field of vision, I didn't mess with that. Frame rate, I put to 60. V-Sync off. I heard that's pretty, that's a big thing. You want to have that off because it's going to, right now, the game in VR is way smoother than the frame rate on the VR display view. So when you turn V-Sync on, it's just going to, have to lower your frames in game to sync it up with your monitor. Rendering method I have normal. The other one looks kind of weird. Resolution scaling don't mess with this. It should be at one, nothing else. I have texture quality at medium. You're gonna have to do that in the main menu, not inside the game. But then texture filterings medium, mesh quality is medium, anti-aliasing. I have on TAA. I messed with all of them. They all kind of look the same, but TAA, I just left it on, and if it, it works fine. Most Builder, make sure it's off. Effects Rendering, I have on Medium. Depth of Field, off. Shadow Quality, Medium. Dynamic Shadows, on. Shadow Cache, off. Ambient Occlusion, off. Bloom, off. Lens Flare, off. Volumetric Lighting, low. Reflections, off. The reflections look kind of weird. They're just kind of like... You would rather have them off than just kind of have to deal with them on. Because, like, they shimmer and stuff, and it, it doesn't look right. Subsurface scattering, I have it on. Chromatic aberration off. And color space, I left it on what my thing set it to. So, I wouldn't switch it to sRGB. I would just leave it as whatever it was when you first opened the game. So, that's the graphics. Thing. Now I'm going to show you, using your Oculus controllers, you can bring up a menu in the game. And that menu will show up if you take one Oculus controller, your left one, and point it like, face your head at your palm, and then take the right Oculus controller and point it at the left palm. And then they, f they fixed it to where it's way easier, like it... It don't have to be perfect. You just, you kind of, you do this motion, right? So you have your left one here. You just face it towards you. Can you even see this? No. Okay, never mind. You just face your left one there and your right one at your left palm. Oh, uh, let me see. Dang. I was trying to show you my left there, my left controller is like this. My right one's just pointing at it. And then under VR, you can click set standing height, set standing origin, it will recenter your view. Recenter view I didn't do because it's always fine when you load in. Decoupled camera pitch I have on. Positional tracking on, head oriented audio on. I have all of that on. Um, decoupled camera pitch, I'm not sure if it's in just the normal one like I got a different DLL file to enable this I think but it's been two months since like the first release so I don't know if everyone else has like it by default if you don't have this just go watch this video by stereo 3d productions they have a video explaining how to get this I just followed them step by step and it worked and so I'm happy uh, Uncap FPS, disable TAA, 
disable motion blur, disable V-Sync, all that's on. I don't have any of that on. I don't know about that. Here's what free cam looks like. It's going to be basically Oh gosh. Okay. This is not fun to play around with. Uh I guess you can just go out of bounds with it. Don't use this. I need to change that like right now uh where was that at free cam just disable that please you don't want that <laughs> it might be cool to like find out of bounds stuff but like just don't don't go through <laughs> it's cool but not worth it okay and then also another reason to use this mod is you might think, oh, whatever, just use PSVR. It has a mode, like, built into it, right? But this one is, like, five times better because, one, one, it looks better. Like, everything looks way better than PSVR anyways. And then, two, the cutscenes don't have fade to black, and you have a full body. So, when I go here, I don't have to, they don't fade to black, and, like, you have arms that open it and all that. And you can, all that works. And then, that's pretty much it. It all works pretty well. I might do a playthrough of this game. Possibly. I think it's way cooler in VR than normally. So, yep, that's it. Hopefully this helped. I'm trying to keep it short because, you know, no one wants to watch a long video if it's a review. You just want to get to the normal stuff, the tutorial <sighs> stuff. But yeah, um, watch our playthrough. I'm I have Resident Evil 3 mod installed. I noticed for Resident Evil 3 and stuff, I didn't know which files to drag over, so I just clicked this little option that said, like, extract to, and I just found the game files using that, and it worked perfect. Um, yeah, well, this is Resident Evil 7 VR. Pretty fun. Peace out.